channel so today's video is going to be all about skincare and my skincare routine I know you guys have been asking me like crazy to film this video and I finally like have an official like routine I think that's what I was just really waiting for because I was just like trying different things and some things I honestly wouldn't even recommend you guys to try because it wasn't really that skin friendly so I was just kind of like trying to discover my own little routine I finally have one down packed so now you know what better way than to actually do a video for you guys now this video is not gonna go totally into depth about like different skin types or whatever this is just my routine on what I do and I will let you know the type of skin that I have and little tips and tricks here um, I also did like a takeover on the live glam snapchat and it was my skincare routine so I'm basically gonna do the same thing I did on that snapchat um, takeover onto this video so if you guys seen it but you wanted something a little bit more into depth or something you could go back and look on because snapchat you know deletes everything after 24 hours then this is the video for you guys so this is going to be a talk through video i'm not doing a voiceover for this one so we are going to get started right now i have a full face of makeup so i'm going to be taking my makeup off and one thing that i like to take my makeup off with is coconut oil coconut oil is life it's like the best thing in the world. I like also using makeup wipes. I just don't use makeup wipes all the time. And the reason is because makeup wipes sometimes are a little bit rough on the skin. So you don't want to be using something that is going to be causing like too much trauma to your skin too often. And I do wear a lot of makeup. So it does take a couple wipes to get all of this makeup off. And after a while, my face starts to get really red just from all the, the rubbing because the, the wipe is not really like the soft this thing in the world so sometimes I just like using coconut oil I just kind of go back and forth and I like to switch it up so we are going to start taking this makeup off it feels weird it's like a backwards video so all right in my snapchat takeover if you're wearing fake lashes and they're like the disposable type not the ones that cost a lot of money you know like the little Ardell ones you can use the coconut oil to kind of rub on the eye so your lash is really gonna just slide off that's basically what the oil will do is just have it slide off but these are some lily lashes and I just opened them today so I am not putting no oil on them I'm just going to rip them off we're not ripped that sounds kind of violent but I'm just gonna take them off because I'm already used to wearing lashes. But this is for mainly for you guys that are like a little um, kind of skeptical about wearing lashes or afraid to take them off. You can put some coconut oil on it and the lashes are going to come right off. So I'm just going to take some coconut oil. I like use the same coconut oil for my hair, for my skin. It's like the best thing ever. I'm just going to take a like um I think these are called like microfiber like towels I don't know I really don't know but it's like a towel but like a baby blanket version it's just really really soft so I'm just gonna like start wiping this makeup off and see it just like literally comes right off I don't know if you guys can see on camera but like I'm looking in the mirror and I could already see my freckles coming right through And anything that I do to my face, I like doing to my neck as well. I just feel like it just keeps my skin on my neck and my face kind of like even. Just whenever anything that I do here, I do here as well. Now that is a pretty scary view. So I'm sorry for scaring you guys. I know it's not Halloween yet, but you know. It's kind of what happens when you take your makeup off for thousands of people to see. Also, if you, I have dry skin, so using oil actually like helps me out. But um, if you do suffer from oily skin, it is okay to use coconut oil. I know it's gonna sound weird, but sometimes you need like good oils to help the bad oils. So this is like something that's really good to use to take your makeup off. Plus it's not like you're sitting in oil all day. It's literally just to take the, ma the makeup off and then you can wash your face, do a facial mask, whatever it is that you want to take the like remaining like oil off of your face. But since I have dry skin, I don't mind the oil like sitting there. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do after you take your makeup off, 
or that I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply my Glam Glow Gravity Mud. It's a firming treatment. This is my favorite mask. And I like it for like a number of reasons. I feel like it just makes my skin like so smooth, which is always a plus, especially when you wear makeup. You want your skin to be like as smooth as possible so that when you're wearing foundation or powder or whatever you put on your face, you don't notice like any, you know, noticeable pores or any noticeable wrinkles or creases or just whatever it is that your skin might be doing that day. Um, so this definitely like helps prevent that and plus it's another thing like wearing makeup so much you're constantly like tugging at your face between putting products on and taking products off that um, I like this firming treatment because I feel like it keeps my skin like nice and tight and firm because um, you know how they say like oh if you wear makeup a lot when you're young it's gonna age you and I don't necessarily think it ages you I just think that it like affects your skin after a while so this definitely helps you know keep my skin nice and firm just the way that I love it because you know sometimes age just hits you like quicker than you can see it coming and you know I'm, I'm already dealing with gray hairs and I just can't deal with all of this right now so I gotta keep my skin tight and firm as long as I possibly can so now I'm going to start applying it. When you apply it, it's like this curly white kind of color and then when it starts to dry up a little bit, it looks more like a chrome color. So I'm just gonna take a, a flat brush and I'm just going to apply some to my face. You, When you're applying this, you wanna avoid applying it anywhere that you have hair. So you don't wanna put it on your eyebrows. You don't wanna put it like close to your hairline because this mask once it dries up it peels off so you just want to apply a generous amount not too little and not too much just enough and you could find um this product online or you can also find it in sephora but i have been rocking this like so much if you guys follow me on instagram you see that i've been like posting about this mask a lot on my like insta story thingy the like snapchat feature type thing on instagram yeah i've been like using this a lot on there i've been posting pictures and i even got my boyfriend to do it and he really loved it and he's a guy so he could care less about this stuff so you know it's like legit amazing if he's really into it down and I am going to come back in about 20 to 25 minutes and we'll start taking this off so see you guys in a couple seconds for you but like 20 30 minutes for me all right so it's been about 25 to 30 minutes so now we're going to start peeling this mask off um, you can just find a, a spot in your mask that seems to be lifting and you can kind of just pull from there and um, you just want to be really gentle. Again, it is your face, so you want to treat your face with respect. And it actually feels really good taking it off because you feel so stiff once it's drying up. So it feels like such a relief once it's coming off. So it's all gone. So once you take your mask off, you are going to notice like there's still a little bit, you know, left behind from the mask. So what you will do is you will go to the bathroom or whatever or get a wet cloth and then you're just going to wipe those extra little pieces off. Once you wipe that off, I will show you guys the next step on what I do after I'm completely cleaned from this mask now that i have everything completely off the next step that i'm gonna do is moisturize my face so i usually do this this is my routine right before bed that's not saying like for you guys that you would have to follow that same routine but i'm just saying this is just what works for me 
So the next thing I'm going to do is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. It's a mega illuminating moisturizer. I'm not too sure if you guys would be able to see on camera, but it looks like a creamy highlighter. So it literally looks like a highlighter that you would wear right here, but it's the lotion version. So I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm going to rub that into my face because this is just going to give my skin like a very natural glow and that's something that I'm always looking for especially in the summertime those days that I really don't want to wear makeup this is just a perfect like moisturizer to wear and you could avoid having to cake up product all you have to do is wear a moisturizer it smells really good it reminds me of like a orange creamsicle all of the Glam Glow products smell really, really good, which I like because sometimes I've used um, a lot of, you know, things that are meant for, like, my face and skincare, and they have such a strong scent to it, and that kind of turns me off about products. I don't I like, I really don't like applying anything on my skin that smells really strong or smells almost medicated. Um, I don't like that, plus I don't really suffer too much from, like, acne or anything I mean I, of course I get my occasional breakouts but I don't like putting anything that's like that seems way too strong for my skin because sometimes it actually makes me break out even more so I stick to very natural products and um, glam glow like I said you guys could find any of the glam glow, glam glow products in uh, Sephora or you can find it on their website and I do have a discount code with them if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products or um, anything else because they have tons of different masks that you guys could buy. So you can get a mask that kind of um, is more targeted towards you or whatever it is that you're looking for for your skincare routine. You guys are open to that because like I said, they have so many different, um, different versions of masks that you can do for different type of skin issues. That's a really good deal because, you know, I know sometimes skincare products can cost a little bit of money. But like I always tell people, if you're going to invest in something for your skin, for your hair, for your nails, like you guys have to be willing to spend money if you want something that's going to be really good quality. That's something I've learned along the way, you know, just networking with a lot of different artists. I've always learned that you have to be open to invest in something that you're really looking for an amazing quality. And when it comes to my face, I definitely have no issue spending money because my face is basically what represents like my brand. I'm a makeup artist, so I'm constantly wearing makeup. So I have to do all I can do to just kind of keep my skin healthy and hydrated. So this is just basically my little routine. It's really nothing too difficult. I take off my makeup with some coconut oil. I put a firming mask on my face just to kind of smooth out my skin, give my skin like that natural, like very Hollywood glam look. Cause in Hollywood, they don't really wear too much makeup. Not like a lot of us Instagram girls do. So, um, and then I just put my moisturizer on right after and I go to bed with my face fully moisturized. And then when I wake up in the morning, my skin is, it's as smooth as butter. So when I put my makeup on, I really don't have any issues. So it's literally like three steps. Take off the makeup with coconut oil, put a mask on, take the mask off, and then just put some moisturizer on. If you guys have any further questions, you guys are free to just comment down below and ask me any of your questions. I will try my best to answer as many as I can, but um, even if I don't know the answer or I just don't get around to answering your question, um, all of you guys as my subscribers, if you know the answer to a certain question, you guys are so open to respond to anybody because I don't really know, you know, like a dermatologist, I don't know everything about skin. I just know what I use and some stuff here and there. So like I said, if there's some further questions that you guys have, you are more than welcome to just ask them down below and either me or hopefully one of my subscribers would answer you. So thank you so much for watching guys and thank you so much for tuning in like you always do. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Ooh, I don't got some liquid lipstick on my face.